Here's a short one for you. Let's say you have a mask infusion, but you don't want a hard edge on it. Here's a couple ways to soften a mask infusion. Here we have an image of a nice young lady. And let's say we want to change the color of her eye. Well, we can draw a circle around the eye with just one of these ellipse masks like this. I can take this and connect it to our color corrector, which I have off for the moment. And we can just size this to be the size of the colored part of her eye like that. Yes. Let's turn on our color corrector, turning this green. And this works okay, but we want this edge to be a lot softer. In fact, we want this edge to be gone, but we'll deal with that in a second. We do want this edge to be softer. So the most basic way to do that is if we select the mask, we can just go over here to soft edge and push that up like this. And that will just soften that edge. Very nice, very nice. And now we don't have that harsh transition. It's nice and soft and natural looking. But there's another cool way to do this, which you can actually do with the polygon node. So we'll take this out and we'll just, instead of doing a circle, we'll just draw a polygon node. And since we can draw this kind of however we want, we'll just go ahead and kind of cut it right here like this. And we can adjust this mask to be just right, okay? So now we have the shape of the mask defined. If I grab this polygon node, again, I have this soft edge and I could push that up and that's probably gonna work just fine for what we're doing. Yeah, that looks okay. Maybe take it a little softer than that. That's just making a little bit more natural edge on this. But let's say we want our edges to be a little different. We want it to be not as soft here and a little bit more soft here. Well, with the polygon mask in our viewer, up here we have this D, and if we click on this, this will make this a double poly. And what that means, you can adjust the shape of this path, but you can also, if you hit tab, switch between the outside and the inside of the path. The outside has this dashed line, and that's kind of the softness of the mask. And so you can kind of customize how soft you want this mask to be by moving these points around. So we can move the inside here, you can hit tab to switch to the outside, and it kind of automatically switches to whatever you click on here. But if you want to switch in between them, you can always hit tab and whatever is red, that's what you're going to be editing. And so now maybe we'll make this a little bit softer. And you always want the dashed line to be outside of the solid line because that's how it's going to kind of fade it out. So we can customize how soft this is at certain parts in the mask. Maybe we don't want this to be so soft down here. Maybe we want this to be a little bit harsher. Do that. So it's a really nice tool to be able to customize your mask. And let's just bring this up here in our second viewer and we can see what it's doing. The mask is totally opaque in the middle and it kind of fades out along this line. So we can make a nice soft transition here just on one side of the mask and keep it harsh on the other side. Very, very cool. We can also boost up the soft edge and that's going to kind of control the overall how soft things are. We can push the softness all the way down and we can really control how harsh things are versus how soft they are. So this is kind of like the master control for how soft things are. And then this double poly gives you a little bit more control after that. So there you go, short tip, but I think is very useful, very helpful when you're masking things in Fusion. If you wanna learn more about Fusion, we have a course for that, Pro Compositing and VFX in Fusion. It's available now at groundcontrol.film. Thank you so much for being here without a mask, with a mask. I don't know if you're wearing a mask or not. I can't see you, or can I? No, I can't. I can't see you eating your cereal right now. If you're eating cereal right now, go ahead and comment because I got to be funny because you're like, can you really see me? I don't know.